Namaste people. Welcome to Shweta's Basket, a stories and poems podcast. And I'm your host, Shweta Singh. Each week, I will bring an incredible new story or poem for you, written by some of the best contemporary writers. I have been waiting to do this episode for so long. <laughs> because the story that I have for you today, Surkhe Ka Kamal, is the one that got the ball rolling for my podcast. So it was a prompt where we had to write about a truth that the protagonist believed in. But later, it turned out to be a lie. Now, this was for an online writing platform called Artoons In. It's like an inn where you have different rooms for different arts, like, you know, writer's room a poetry parlor, canvas room, room 9, which is the publication room, and of course the geeks room, where all the IT wizards reside, and they're the people who created and now manage my website. So if you're a writer, do check them out. And they have recently launched a community initiative called Writer's Loop, a very interesting concept. It is something where the writers will be the drivers of that particular room. So they get to decide what happens there. I will leave the link to Artoonsin and to the writer's loop in the show notes. So, as I was saying, we wrote this particular story for an event and when the event was over, we were asked to narrate the story. And I had so much fun recording that narration and you know, it also reminded me of the times when I used to narrate stories to my friends and my school and colleges and I used to love it and they loved it too yes because they came back for it again and again otherwise I'm sure they would have said "Uh, shut up but that didn't happen so I assume they really enjoyed it and one thing led to another and my podcast started with Surkhe Ka Kamal being the first episode But back then, it was done on the phone with no editing. So it was a completely raw episode that went up. So I thought I will revisit the story and present a much more polished version of it, both in terms of writing and recording and editing. I really hope you enjoy this story. So here is Surkhe Ka Kamal. So Surkha is a guava, a variety of guava, and it has this pinkish tinge inside. So this is it, Surkhe Ka Kamal. Myself, Sushila. I come from small town. My family, very religious, following all customs and rituals. And of course, following the great Babaji. Cheho! You know, when I very small, I remember Tao's Bahu not get pregnant. So Dadi take her to Babaji's ashram for two days. When leaving, Babaji gave her surkha to eat. A month later, Bahu with child. Oh, just like the magical fruit in Mahabharat. My respect for Babaji grow. Babaji is God. Then later, Bahu gave birth to a son. Oh, how my dadi danced with happiness. She told Bahu to rest and look after the son. Huh? I very surprised. Earlier, all day, Dadi scold her and make her work just like she make Amma and my sisters work. Now, she make all of us work more as Bahu needs rest, she says. I see happiness on Bahu's face. I wonder about the powerful Surkha. How it give her power to sit with Dadi all day and my Amma and sisters and I work. So a few years pass and then this happens. One day, Pitaji say, 
you now 17 your marriage fix he not ask just tell i happy i said but more happy as i shop lenga sarees bangles and what not marriage girl get new things in house otherwise only bahu get new things when badki marry she get new saree and we get her old clothes even amma wear bahu's old saree dadi said no need for amma to have a new saree anyway she give birth to girls so money always going away in dowry when manjli marry she get new clothes and amma and i again get old clothes so finally i happy i get a new clothes dadi show the sarees she get me all red pink and green sarees oh they so pretty i turn to show amma my sarees and see that she sad i walk to her amma you take one sari i say she said no and walk away amma never smile i look at bahu <laughs> she laughing and playing with sun i remember baba ji and surkha so after a year of her marriage it's already one year bahu not pregnant complain sasuma i think something wrong with her i make face she like dadi always asking for khush khabri are happy husband happy i that not khush khabri are stop grumbling sasur ji se if she can't give boy we marry our son again i see sasuma very happy with the idea she called dadi your granddaughter baren one year no child we send her back you keep her she curses no no dadi screech she no baren our baba ji can help i take her there you wait and see she explain about bahu finally sasuma agree i happy to get away from her house for some time they all time saying you give no child you give no child oh baba ji please give me fruit also so i get child i pray as i remember how bahu got surkha and she got son and no one shout at her anymore i tell husband not to worry i go for two days then i be back i go to ashram full of this hope so many people come sad then they go king happy i think baba ji need so many surkha to make people happy then my turn come i stand in front of him and look at him with big smile i know he help me baba ji look at me and say oh this child is cursed i will have to cleanse her it will take two days then he tell his disciple take her to the special puja room i go after some time baba ji come i look at him with respect now all my trouble over i think lie down he say ha hey, what for i tell him baba ji i am here to get surkha so i get child you have taus bahu he laugh and laugh then he say 
Oh, you are a beautiful and stupid creature. Perfect combination. Then he come near me and push me to bed. You want a child? I move head up and down. Then lie down and I will fulfill your desire for a boy. I look at him. I don't like how he look at me. I don't like him so much now. Lie down. He ordered. Is he mad, I think? I shocked. So this the truth. I want to run. A child more important than listening to insults every day. Bolinar, what do I do? If I run, they marry husband to another girl. No. Then what happened to me? I cry. Women like cows just to have child. Afterwards, Babaji gave me a surkha also. Now nine months have passed. I give birth to son. Everyone very happy with me. They give me gifts. One month later, big ceremony at home. All are invited. Sasuma tells everyone, It is Babaji's miracle. It is Babaji's miracle. His fruit made Bahu pregnant. She give laddus to all who come. I hide smile under Pallu, but I laugh in my head. <laughs> Sasuma, it is not Babaji's fruit. It's a seed. Well, so I hope you like that story. And I know it is a satire. So please take it in that spirit. It's dark humor. So just focus on the message. And guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. To share your comments or feedback, DM me on Facebook or Instagram. My handle is Shweta's Basket. You can also use the link in the show notes to visit the website and leave a comment there. And don't forget to hit the like or follow button or the subscribe button on YouTube before you exit. Do rate us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. It'll take you a couple of seconds, but this thoughtful gesture from you will go a long way in supporting the podcast and helping it grow. So. Until we meet again on the air next Friday, this is your host, Shweta Singh, signing off. Bye for now. Do you want to have a website of your own? Well, look no further. The geeks will help you. And you will find them in the Geeks Room at Artoons Inn. Just click on the link in the episode description. Yes, it's that simple to have a website. 